In this presentation, I'll be showing you how SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM will represent the different configuration-specific information from SOLIDWORKS directly onto a data card in the Enterprise PDM software. With the file that I have selected right now, we'll see that the materials vary all within side of this one file. That way we can have the material and the weight to be specific to what the engineer selected inside of the CAD system. If we look into SOLIDWORKS, we'll be able to see how this pushes all the way through. So we'll see that the engineer selected teak as the material. If we go into the file properties, we'll see that for the teak configuration, the material is being read directly out of what we call the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager. Likewise, if I switch over to the Pine configuration, we'll see that Pine was what the engineer selected. For each of these, we also have a description to give the, general inf to give the user general information about that particular configuration. If I look inside of SOLIDWORKS, we also have a custom tab, which this custom tab allows us to put file specific information. So this is where you would typically store information about the file that does not have anything to do with that particular configuration, or at least is not specific for that configuration. So this will be more generic for the file itself back into Enterprise PDM, we'll see that we have all of the configuration specific properties. We can also display the file specific properties. A quick refresh of the screen and the at tab shows up inside of Enterprise. And again this at tab represents what the engineers would see on the custom tab inside of SOLIDWORKS. Based off of an individual company's needs, users can toggle whether or not the at configuration is even displayed via the display options within inside of the Enterprise PDM client.